All right, we're gonna try to get this thing off the trailer uh, by myself with an engine hoist and a little bit of creativity. Let's see how well we do. So I'm not a rigger by any means. I've moved a fair amount of heavy shit, but I don't know everything. I am not a professional. Do this at your own risk, but think about what you're doing. Don't put your hands, hand, foot, cock for that matter, under anything that could fall if it fails. So step number one, anytime you're moving heavy equipment, is to double everything. Good old fashioned double rule. Double the amount of blocking you think you're going to need. Double the amount of time you think you're going to need. And double the amount of pains in your ass that this thing will cause you. Hey guys, just want to show you what I came up with to uh, get this lifted with the engine hoist. So this is a piece of 3 8 steel. Uh, should be more than strong as part of the frame. I've uh, got a little piece of angle here. Just drilled through and got a slot in there. Just a little piece of scrap. But that goes on to your engine hoist and lifts you up. On the underside, you can see I put a piece of uh, more scrap steel and a washer uh, just to help distribute that load a little better. And we're going to see if we can get this uh, guy lifted and off the trailer. All right. Success, kinda. All right, so. One of the problems with using an engine hoist to move machinery around is usually when you lower your machinery it ends up on the legs of your engine hoist and you can't get it off the hoist. So what I'm doing here is I grab the handy dandy little motorcycle jack again, got that underneath the uh, center point of the weight, the balance point of the uh, bandsaw here, and then jacked it up very very slowly and this took a couple of times to find where that jack needed to be but right now it is I would say in a quasi stable state <laughs> uh, I mean it's pretty sketch ball not not gonna lie it uh, you, know, you don't really want to be around the thing all right let's wrap this up so Got the motorcycle jack loose. Built a small, kind of quick and easy 4x4 four four caster base. You know, these are just three inch casters, steel casters, um, screwed in the bottom of a 4x4, four four, uh, threaded to the holes that were already drilled in the steel plate base of the bandsaw. Nothing fancy and certainly not permanent. This raises the saw considerably and uh, honestly it's still pretty damn tippy but I'll eventually make a small or a low slung uh, machine dolly with uh, what are they called? Machine legs. So I can level it up and deal with the intense irregularities of my concrete slab that I have poured here. But that's it. You know, expect a lot of work, but you can do it with an engine hoist. You don't need a forklift, you don't need riggers, and, I mean, I'd rather have a forklift and I'd rather play riggers, 
but you can do this by yourself. It's better if you got a friend, but just work slow. Uh, if something seems funky, stop. Get the fuck away from the machine. If it starts falling, get the fuck out of Dodge. But hopefully, if you work slow, it's not going to start falling, right? Anyways, that's it for Dead Guy Tools. So I moved this whole thing by myself, and I am still not a dead guy. So cheers to that. Have a good one, dudes.